Well, here we are. After a lot of boring stuff with a soldering iron, um, a uh, circuit drawing, and uh, some cursing, everything works. You plug it in, and you get sound. I put the strings on it. I have not tried to do anything with the truss rod or the string height or anything because right now I'm giving it several days for this neck to get used to having strings on it again. It's been about three days and I am probably, it's Sunday today, I am probably going to wait till this coming Friday before I take it into Ron for a setup. Um, I want this thing to be uh, fully broken in before we do anything like that because I don't need the neck springing more on me and have to go back and do it again. Uh, our game is not why do it right when you can do it again, no matter what people say. Anyway, now it's time for the most important part, the headstock label. I apologize for my wobbly camera. The headstock label. I'm going to put it right along here. I went to a number of office supply stores to see if somebody could print it off for me because I had a JPEG of the image I wanted and nobody does that. Then I went to Michael's, which is a hobby and craft store. They had printable clear sticker paper. I bought some of that, ran it through the printer, and here we are. Octophile. As you may recall, my wife is an absolute nut about the giant Pacific octopus. And so, this is the word I came up with to describe her. So, it only seems natural that since this is a no-name guitar, I can name it whatever I want, and I'm going to name it Octophile. No, we're not interested in the heater. All right. <clears throat> so, now... <laughs> I still have almost this full sheet of this sticker paper. So, if this one doesn't go right, not only do I have this full sheet, I have seven more. I had to buy a package of eight. So, I have more than I am ever likely to need. Now, I want to align the bottom edge of this in parallel with this edge. So, here we go with attempt number one. How do you get the backing paper off? This is something they never tell you. How? There is no edge or anything. There we go. Okay. I caught a corner. Now I just got to get a hold of it. Okay. I should probably have some Benny Hill music playing over this. Honestly. But here we are. So... Line it up as carefully as I can and down. What do you think? I think it looks a little dark. 
I think I need to brighten it up a bit. But I'm going to leave it this way and I'm going to ask you what you think. Does that look good or should I brighten up the blue and the purple so it stands out more? Let me know in the comments.